So the cost, you know, and it's a, it, the, the death row facility is probably 10 or 12 years old, maybe. It's well designed um, and, and uh, cost efficient. So in, in that sense, you know, operationally, I, I don't know that there's a big difference. We were, we were kind of looking at that, and I don't think there's going to be, it's not any different than a, any other cell block other than, and actually it's our newest cell block. So design-wise, it, it's uh, in it's more good efficiently shape. designed, yes. I guess, than the other ones. But does it require any more manpower? I mean, uh, obviously you have one person we, per we, cell, we, so you're we not do. using we the square footage as well. We man the towers uh, around that perimeter. We do. We don't have the the, the uh, electronic uh, surveillance uh, and shake offenses around around. Well, we do, but in addition to, we man the towers. Uh, and it it has its own sally port. So you would say it's just nominally more expensive and not really. I would say nominally. I don't think there's a big expense now, as y'all probably read a little bit about death row trying to air condition it up. Now, operationally, it might it might start uh, costing us a little bit more money. We we fought that all the way into the Fifth Circuit, and we won in the Fifth Circuit. But the temperature got to 88, not the temperature, the heat index got to 88. So they called us in the court Friday in the federal court. How much did y'all spend to chase it up to the Fifth Circuit? Uh, is it more the cost a heck of the air conditioning? A lot less than it would have cost us if the we air hadn't chased it. Right. I can promise you that because if when you start air conditioning our prisons, it's uh, it could end up being a a real problem. Okay, that's it. Uh, the Fifth Circuit's good about that. So, all right. Uh,